You mentioned Gavin earlier, uh, Gavin Andreessen. He he said publicly that that Craig was Satoshi, right? And then and then he changed his mind. What? Um, what, what exactly? Um, he more. I mean, no, nobody's been bullied more than than Gavin Andreessen, frankly. Um, and part of it is his personality. Gavin is a very um, he's a very kind and simple man in a lot of ways. Very trusting. Uh, if you sit and talk to him, he's just he's very soft spoken, uh, and just just a genuinely nice person. So when you put him in a group of of sociopaths, he's gonna he's gonna do the worst, <laughs> basically. Okay. And and I think that's a lot what happened to him. He, um, and I, I I saw him under oath explain the whole Satoshi signing and and stuff. So I watched his whole court uh, deposition and stuff. And um, he kind of explains it like. Yeah, I knew Craig was Satoshi before he signed. It was it was the conversation when when we met and we were talking about essentially picking up private conversations that only he and Satoshi had had. And Craig basically picks right up with, hey, when we were talking about X and they sat and talked to each other for, I don't know, two or three hours, if I recall. And, you know, those are the kinds of things that you really can't fake. Like you might be able to fake some technical signing or, or whatever, but you, you kind of can't fake a conversation with somebody you've known for years and, and pretend to be that person very effectively, at least not for very long. And so um, the way that signing worked is Gavin was allowed to buy his own computer, open it, create exactly the circumstances that he would want to see in order for the signing to work and all this stuff. So Gavin actually did a very good job with um, the technicals on how that signing was put up. Now, the moment Gavin came out in public and said, yeah, I, th I think Craig is Satoshi. I, I got to meet Satoshi Nakamoto. It's incredible. He he lost everything at that point. It was, you're out of Bitcoin. Your, your keys to the Bitcoin core uh, GitHub repo are burned, like all this other stuff. And so from then forward, it's been nothing but, I mean, he went from the lead developer of Bitcoin core to just a bunch of jerks harassing him day and night for years across Twitter. Like, when are you gonna? When are you gonna uh, recant what you said? When are you gonna this and like you fool? You've sicked Craig right on the world and blah blah blah. And uh, now it's I don't know six or nine months ago. He basically softened his opinion. He didn't say he doesn't think Craig is Satoshi. He he basically said like, look, it's been a lot of years now, and with everybody telling me that that here's all the reasons why I could have been fooled or whatever else. Like, I'm not exactly sure what I saw. I, I still think Craig is more likely than not to be Satoshi, but ultimately I really just, I don't want to be part of this conversation anymore. Like I got brought into this when it really wasn't controversial. <laughs> and so the fact that, you know, I've got all this pressure to like apologize or, or withdraw my opinion on it. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to rewrite history, but ultimately um, like, I just don't want to talk about it anymore. I'm, I'm not out here to defend what I saw anymore. I'm not, I'm not going there because I just frankly don't know at this point. So it was more, um, I don't know. Yeah, it was more just like, please stop calling me uh, rather than um, saying that Craig isn't Satoshi. But it was it was the, the product of an unbelievable amount of bullying. And so uh, coming from a guy like Gavin, who doesn't deal with bullying well, um, yeah, I just frankly feel bad for the guy. Because again, like Gavin, Gavin is the guy who deserved this the least, frankly.